it's important to realize that the the key the core when we speak about slowing down is it's not so much a literal move your feet more slowly or move your arms more slowly. It's not so much that. It's not about writing slower or typing slower or walking slower or cooking slower. It's not about that. It's not about take what you do and figure out how to do it slower. It's not about, oh, well, if it normally takes you half an hour to cook dinner, you should figure out how to make sure it takes you an hour to cook dinner. That's not the the principle behind slowing down. The principle of slowing down has to do actually much more with spaciousness than with speed. Because of course, efficiency is a fantastic virtue. Not wasting time is a fantastic virtue. So if you can cook dinner in 30 minutes and make a wonderful nourishing dinner, and then have 30 minutes to do something else, there's no inherent virtue in figuring out how to make cooking dinner take longer. But there is an inherent value and virtue in this principle of slowing down. But we have to realize that what it means is create spaciousness. It's the opposite of the concept of running around like a chicken with its head cut off, right? When we talk about the speed at which things are going, there implies also a directionlessness. If you're moving very efficiently, very effective, very well toward a very clear target, There's nothing wrong with that, assuming that the target is where you want to go. There's no value in saying, hey, wait, if you can get your, you know, if you can get your master's degree in two years, really it would be better if you took five years to do it. It's not about that. If you can be efficient and effective and focused, fantastic. That is the goal. Slowing down means make sure there is spaciousness with the effectiveness. That it's not that we are going and going and going and spinning and spinning and spinning and literally spinning ourselves dizzy. And that's what's happening a lot in this world when we speak about the speed that the world is going. There's that sense of, and no direction. And this is one of my favorite quotes actually by Mahatma Gandhi who said, what is the point of that fast speed that has no direction? And yeah, today there is an incredible emphasis on speed, 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 faster, faster, faster. Our computers should be faster, our internet should be faster, our phones should be faster, our cars should be faster. But we don't know where we're going. It's like if you went to buy a car and the car salesperson said, this is the best car in the world. Zero to 150 kilometers an hour in three seconds flat. You'd say, wow, what a, what a sports car. But then if the car salesman told you that, by the way, this car had no steering wheel, would you still buy it? No one would. Because we understand, with our cars at least, 
that no matter how fast it can go, if I have no control over where it goes, that speed is useless and worse than useless. The speed is actually detrimental and could be lethal. So slowing down our lives means, do you know where you're going? Are you able, as you move along the path of your life, A, to even see the signs of where you are? Do you even know where you're supposed to get off this freeway? Do you even know where your right turn or left turn is supposed to be? You could have the, the best map in the world, the best GPS system in the world. But if you're going so fast that you miss every single turn, every on-ramp, every off-ramp, it doesn't matter how good the GPS is. You're still not going to get where you're supposed to go. So slowing down means making sure that you're able to see the signs the literal ones and the internal ones because we get signs in our life. Go here. Stay in this place. Turn right, turn left. Do this. But if we're going so fast, we miss the signs. And that's when we miss so much of our, our life's purpose. We get caught up. We get caught up in what the culture says, which is, you know, have you made your first million yet? Are your kids in private school? Are they on the right soccer team? Do you vacation at the right club med resorts? Did you get invited to that party? Have you bought this new car? Do you have this type of new house? Are you on this app? And so we, we go along with it. We get that job. We have those families. We build the white picket fences. We do, we do all of what we're told to do. But along the way, a lot of us miss where we're going. So slowing down means make sure there's space. Space between the rapid thoughts for you to experience awareness, consciousness, your breath. Space to be able to hear the signs, to see the signs, to understand the signs. Space to be able to enjoy the journey. It's it's a bit trite, but it's really true. Are you smelling the flowers? You could be on the most perfect pathway, going to the most perfect place. But if you miss, if you miss the divinity of the journey in thinking that it's actually about the destination, you've missed it. So the way to slow down is simply to create space. And it doesn't mean be less efficient. It doesn't mean be less effective. It doesn't mean take an hour to do what you can do in half an hour or five years to do what you can do in two years. It means in every moment, in every minute, make sure there's space. Make sure there's space between the thoughts. Space to see the signs. Space to smell the roses. Space to know who the one is who's walking the path. We walk to get someplace. And very few of us have any idea what it feels like to walk. We arrive and we have no recollection of getting ourselves there. Slowing down means be where you are in every moment. It makes life a meditation. So as you walk, as you eat, as you work, 
as you speak? Can you do it with such full awareness and spaciousness? that you're still just as efficient and effective. But time almost seems to stand still in that moment because your mind isn't racing to the next place. You're actually there in every moment. It's the be here now of life. So it feels slower. And actually what it is, is more grounded, more anchored, more mindful, more present, more conscious, and more spacious. And that you can do anywhere. 